lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. I think this is video number six. This is the room where I sleep in, and you need a mosquito net because mosquitoes are a little relentless here. Am I worried about malaria? No, I'm not. <laughs> Even though if you look at my arm, I got some serious bites. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see them little, them little dots there? Yeah, mosquitoes have been eating my butt up. But, uh, yeah, see that? But I'm not afraid or anything like that. Um, whatever it is, what it is. They got pills for that kind of stuff. But anyways, this is kind of like the room I sleep in. I'm just giving that. And, uh, Outside is some kids about here out here shucking corn. Yeah, they're kind of back here like doing their thing. It's like um, neighborhood kids. And um, so what I was saying in the previous video, in the last video, Malawi is on the on the precipice of an exploding, merging market. If you look online and you look up Africa feeding the world in the future, you look up Africa's emerging market is here. People are just definitely afraid of Africa and that's working to our advantage. That's Paul's daughter right there, the tall one right there, neighborhood kid right there. And then there's Mr. Clever right there, little Mr. Clever. So hi, Mr. Clever. Look at him. He don't even speak English, but you know, he's starting to get familiar. Oh, I got a haircut. He looks like a little milk dud. <laughs> So anyways, that's Mr. Clever. So anyways, but what I was saying about Africa being on the precipice of an emerging market, see people are afraid of Africa and that's what's making it so attractive for us early investors to come in and rake in gold. Because think about it, you could buy a house like this or you could have a house built like this. You could build a house like this, again, for like anywhere between eight, six to $8,000 six to eight thousand dollars you could build like ten of these you could build like ten of these and in the future sell them just get them ready and sell them you know when the prices go up sell them sell the lot sell the land with it or rent the land sell the house lease the land sell the house however you want to do it there's many ways to do it because like i said this 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 market is going to explode south africa is not too far from here it's only a two-day drive People, locals are already driving to South Africa and getting goods from South Africa and bringing it back into Malawi. What does that tell you? It tells you that people demand, 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 demand. So yeah, so um, I'm really excited about Malawi. You just have to get past the fact that it is a third world country. It's not like where you come from. It's big difference. It is a culture shock. Some things are a culture shock, but you don't have to live like that. You can bring the higher standards. Say, hey, oh, you got a haircut too. Look at that. Wow. Nice and smooth. Got a fade. Haircuts here are only a dollar. <laughs> Look at these guys. Haircuts are only a dollar. They're looking pretty good. But anyways, um, yeah, so uh, let me see. How many minutes? Did I Three minutes. So anyway, so yeah, so that's what I was saying about Maui. It's a good emerging market to be in. It's a good market to be in right now. And I'm sure there's other places in Africa the same way. I don't think South Africa is like that, but definitely Malawi. And Malawi is one of them countries you don't hear a lot about, at least not as popular as some of the other countries like Kenya, um, South Africa, uh, Seychelles. Seychelles is already getting 250,000 tourists. They're getting 250,000 tourists a year, per year. And I don't see Malawi being any different than that.